Welcome to this Toward Thriving Guided Meditation by Keith Edwards. Let's begin by sitting tall but relaxed with our feet on the floor. We'll take three full breaths to get ourselves centered. Breathe in and exhale slowly, getting fully present in this moment. Breathe in fully and deeply again. And exhale slowly, getting grounded in your body. Breathe in again, fully and deeply. And exhale slowly, being fully present in this moment. Breathe normally and let us begin. We will begin with a body scan. Begin at the top of your head by relaxing your scalp. Relax your eyes. Relax your face. Relax your jaw and your teeth. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. And relax your shoulders again. Relax your upper arms. Relax your lower arms. And for all the typing and scrolling and clicking and liking that they do, relax your lower arms one more time. Relax your hands and your fingers. Return to your shoulders and relax your shoulders. Relax your upper back. Remain sitting tall but relaxed. Relax your upper back. Relax your middle back. Relax your lower back. Relax your chest. Let it open and expand easily with each breath. Relax your chest one more time. Relax your abdomen. And let your chest and abdomen work together to easily allow the air to come in and move out. Relax your hips. Relax the back of your hips, the sides of your hips, and the fronts of your hips. Relax your upper legs. Relax your lower legs. Relax your feet. And now, loving kindness, begin at the core of you, the essence of you, the soul or the spirit of you. Love yourself unconditionally, not because you are perfect, but love all of you, including your imperfections. Love the essence of who you are. And expand this love or this light or embrace to include your body for all that it enables and makes possible and for all its pain and limitations of your whole body above all of it. Expand to love your emotions 
and how they feel in your body as your feelings. The pleasant ones, the difficult ones, the really hard ones. Allow for all of them and love all of them as part of the full human experience. Not because they're always right or justified, but because they are real. Love your mind, all your thoughts, all your ideas, your creativity, your choices. Expand this love to include someone close to you who you find easy to love, a partner, a close friend, a family member, or a pet. Love them unconditionally for all of who they are. Embrace them. Let the light consume them as well. Expand this love to others who are close to you. Your friends. Your family members. Your close connections. One by one. Love them. Love them. Love them. Love them. And love them. Expand this love to include your acquaintances, coworkers, neighbors, people you pass by each and every day. Strangers you will encounter today. Love the people who will make your day possible, the people who made your clothes, the people who developed your medications people who will serve your lunch, all those who make today possible for you. Expand this love to include your neighborhood, your city, your region, your country, the whole world. And now gratitude. We'll practice gratitude for as many moments as you can over the past day. Begin with this moment. And now, this moment. Practice gratitude for this gift of meditation you are giving yourself, this time you are investing in you. Express gratitude for what may have come before this. For gratitude for breakfast, for coffee, for the mere gift being able to wake up and be alive today. Seek an expression of gratitude for all the things over the past day, the big things, the small things, the insignificant things, and even the hard and unpleasant things for the lessons they've offered you. Practice gratitude that it wasn't worse. Practice this gratitude for as many moments as you possibly can. Express gratitude for small moments from last night and last evening. Express gratitude for yesterday afternoon. Express gratitude for yesterday morning. Find all the little subtle moments you can be grateful for. Your sunlight, the rain, the connection, the challenges, and merely being alive.
now we'll set our attentions for the day ahead. We're going to look ahead over the day before us. Consider what the next 24 hours has in store for you. Not your to-do list or the details of your calendar. But what are the big moments you see before you? A big event? Are you looking forward to a small indulgence? Are you anxious about a difficult conversation? Eager for a new renewed connection? Or anticipating a scary challenge? Or all of the above? Now set an attention for how you want to be for this day ahead of you. Not what you're going to do, but how you're going to be. What is the intention you want to carry with you into the next day? Maybe you want to be focused. You might want to be clear. You might want to be grateful. You might want to be brave. You might want to be fully alive. You might want to be simple. You might want to be fully present. You might want to be intentional or something else. Choose an intention for the day before you. And let the intention you have chosen sink into the very essence of your being. Let that intention become And imagine how it might serve you as you move through the coming day. Imagine how it might serve others in the coming day. Ground yourself in this intention. We'll focus this time on your own spirituality, however you define that for yourself. Connect with your spirituality. You might connect with God, or the universe, or the light within you and within all of us. You might pray. If you choose to pray, pray not to ask for something, but pray simply to listen. You might focus on the interconnection among all of us on our spiritual connection or our relational connection, the choices we make and the ripple effects they have, or the physical connection and the interconnection of our shared molecules and atoms passing through us all, or the quantum interconnectedness of all matter and you in this world and in the universe. Just focus on your spirituality, whatever that means for you. And let it resonate throughout you.
let your spirituality resonate throughout all of you. Let it flow into you and flow out of you. Now we are going to let you clear your mind and free yourself of your thoughts. Just clear your mind. You might imagine your mind as a bright blue empty sky. Each time a thought comes to you about lunch or the next meeting or the big project, just notice it. That's a thought. Don't get attached and let it go like a cloud that just passes by quickly. Let it go. And return to the clear blue sky. And then when another thought appears, just notice it, don't get attached, and let it go. You are doing this just right. The goal here is not to have thoughts appear. The goal is to become practiced that when they appear, you can let them go. Again, you are doing this just right. Keep returning to that clear blue sky. When a thought emerges like a cloud, just let it pass by. breath come in and go out. Come in and go out. Let that rhythm just be. And that's the conclusion of this Toward Thriving Meditation by Keith Edwards. Enjoy your day.